And that's going to do it full time. The 27th edition of the Hudson River Derby finishes in a nil-nil draw. I see a group that is fighting, uh, still believes that we can get into the playoffs and is putting forth the effort that, that matches that, that type of thought process. I love the fight and belief that I saw from the group tonight. Good to be back with you on an early start today, the Saturday afternoon matinee. Yankee Stadium, the site for this edition of the New York Derby between NYCFC and the New York Red Bulls. A big game in terms of the standings in the Eastern Conference table. Big why both teams right now underneath the playoff line, both trying to, in essence, keep their season alive. Together, some other one happened again. Okay, let's go. Come on, come on. One, three. One, two, three. Come on. Come on. Hooked in. Good offer for Marlo. Manolo takes it well. I love the way that we played in terms of the first half. We, I thought we were excellent and created chances. Clearly, we have to, to capitalize on the moments that we create. Um, second half, give credit to New York City. I thought that they came back and, and fought just as well in the game. Yeah, it was a game where we were desperately in need of some momentum, desperately in need of three points. Unfortunately, what well, was in the first half, in the first six minutes, Manuel unfortunately couldn't finish one off. And then a great save in the second half by uh, Freeze. Now Duncan, nice little stutter step. Duncan puts it in. First time ever, I want a save from Freeze. Those are the moments that we have to capitalize on. We know that as these games start to come to an end, uh, or the season starts to come to an end. But I love the fight and belief that I saw from the group tonight, and that has to be there again Wednesday night. You look at the Red Bull schedule for what's left, six games remaining, three games at home. You, you have to say all three of those games become, I know you don't like the term must wins, but when you look at it in the totality of the season, you got to get your points at home. Yeah, I mean, we got to get your points at home, and we've got six games of which we probably have to win four at the very minimum, five most likely. It's not necessarily do or die yet, because it's definitely us looking at a lot of different games, looking at, at the results of the games, but uh, we've definitely put ourselves in a situation at home, at Austin, to get some points. While it's not three points today, it's a really good building block. What we have to say, though, is what was our performance like tonight? Again, what do we have to say we have to improve on? And I don't think it's a, a different narrative for us, but we, do, we absolutely have to take away the positive of a clean sheet on the road after you know giving up some goals in the three previous matches. So I think it's a building block for us going into Wednesday. Both teams right now below the playoff line, both still within striking distance. Should be an intense match come Wednesday. It should be an intense match because we're now at kind of the reckoning of the season. These are two teams that understand that if you don't get your three points, you're most likely not going to make the playoffs. So hopefully there's going to be some intensity. Hopefully there's going to be a, a, an opportunity for this Red Bull team to finally get these three points that are desperately needed and at Red Bull Arena where we've had some success. Of course, we know we, we need to score goals. We get done. But the confidence in the group right now, they, they recognize that we need to score more goals. We, we, we completely are all of the same mindset. But we have a lot of confidence in the way that we compete every single match. And we know that we're going to make it difficult on the opponent. And, uh, you know, Austin coming in Wednesday night into our place, if we have that same type of performance, I, I feel confident we're going to get the job done. Very entertaining game last year when these teams played. It was that 4-3 win uh, in Austin for New York. Hopefully we'll see more of that coming on Wednesday night. Again, a scoreless draw here this evening against NYCFC.